तो हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज रविंद्र एंड आई वेलकम यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू लोड मोर देन 5000 ऑफ आइटम बाय यूजिंग सिंगल एचटीटीपी रिक्वेस्ट विद इन द पावर एप्स ओके वी आर फेचिंग 5000 रिकॉर्ड फ्रॉम आवर शेयर पॉइंट ओके इन टू एन पावर एप्स इन द सिंगल एचटीटीपी रिक्वेस्ट ओके सो लेट्स सी how to do that okay i will guide you demonstrately okay in the step wise manner first let's see how it's work okay so let's i go to the make dot power apps okay and here my application is already built okay we are creating this from the scratch as well okay so let's i go in the play mode so in the play mode let's i search for any site okay let's i search for so let's search the site here okay fetch example one i searching let's click on this button so you can be see we receive a site okay fetch example one created on okay and the id of this site okay so let's i go to the sharepoint okay and i showcase you how it's work okay so this is my sharepoint home page okay in this sharepoint you can be see i have different sites okay so you can visit some of the site and here are all my sites okay in our left hand side you can be see so i simply search okay this site okay patch example one okay in the search query also you can be see site name is patch example one okay yeah so in this site uh, let's we now wants to search for any specific list okay so for that purpose let's we gave delegation test okay so this all sites i want okay by using graph api so how to do that so let's uh, i go and just click on here okay. you can be see all the sites that is available in my patch example one okay is available here okay so what url i provided here okay http graph microsoft.com v1.0 sites okay here i provided this site address okay and then all the list Let's I edit this little bit so you can understand this end point. Okay, here is double dot is coming. Uh, this gallery is gallery one underscore one. One underscore one. So this is the URL. Okay, that we hit now. Okay, and now from this list. Okay, from this list I want all the records. Okay, so let's I want from delegation. test okay because in that we have 20000 of records okay let's i showcase in the back end okay delegation okay so let's i go to click on this gear icon site content in the site content uh, let's i scroll it down and this is my list delegation limit test okay if you're not able to find it on the left hand side you always try to use this option okay so from this site i want all 5000 of records So let's I go. Okay, so let's. Where is my that site? Delegation limit. Let's I click here. Okay. Our request is sent. Okay. Let's test how much record we are getting. Okay. So you can be see item count is five thousand. Okay. We'll get five thousand of records. Let's I scroll it down at the bottom. So you can be see 5000s of records okay this is the last id okay and gallery count is also you can be see 5000 okay so let's i showcase you okay in the back end how it's work okay so for that purpose let's i open the monitor okay if you go in this dot okay here is you have the option to open the monitor okay so let's i opening the monitor here let's i till the time clear this you will see so no action is hidden now okay Let's I go to Power Apps, okay, and then let's uh, reshoot this, okay, one more time. So our monitor is open, okay. So this network call we hit, okay. You can be see, this is our response, okay. We are getting this entire response we are getting, okay. Uh, so why we are doing this, okay? Instead of directly simply calling the Power. Directly we can be connect SharePoint and call. Okay, so in this case, what's happen? Okay, if you go in the ons, let's I take one button for testing purpose. Okay, here. 
so you all will understand why we can be use this okay so basically what we use we use the collect function okay then we use here collection name and load the two two thousands of records okay correct then we use one more time collect and then we load another two thousands of records okay and for remaining thousand also we are doing the same process okay so by using this approach what's happening at the back end okay the three network call is happening okay you see here for this first 2000 second 2000 and third 2000 okay the three request call is happening and then we are concurrently that at the same okay but here if you see okay in the monitor it is all thing is done within the single action okay if you see this is network call happen okay for duration of only in milliseconds okay so it is faster as well and also we are getting this call, okay so this is the duration you can see okay we are getting data stored so that's why we use this okay to reduce our network calls and to improve the app performance okay so these are some of the steps okay um, so how to achieve that okay let's i showcase you how you can be do so let's i go and open the graph api okay let's i search simply graph apis and just clicking on enter so we have graph explorer simply let's I go to that okay required to sign in so i simply sign in at my left hand side we have some sample query so let's we go and search for sharepoint okay because in this case we are working with sharepoint so that's one, okay so first step we need the site okay on which site we want so you can be use any action my organization default sharepoint site okay this url you will get okay so just simply click on run so by using this action you will get all the sharepoint list that is available in your back okay? you can be see we are getting the response okay <clears throat> Uh, for now in our case we are using this search one okay so here you can be see search we are passing patch example one and just click on run query okay so this response we are getting okay so let's I go to the power apps okay let's I close the monitor now this is no not needed okay i'm on site this button is also not needed now okay so i deleting that so in the button what i doing let's i you using the set okay you can use here update contacts or the collection as well then i calling the office 365 group connector okay that you need to add okay so simply just go to the your data okay this drum icon then click on the add and here search for the office 365 groups okay so let's i simply copy this name and let's i will showcase you so here you will get office 365 group so simply just click on that that connector will add okay this is not a premium connector so in the free of course you can be used okay so in the office 365 group we are using http request okay by using this connector you also not need any authentication or anything okay this url okay simply passing okay this url simply and here i just using concatenating this with the our text input okay request should be get post according to you okay so we are fetching data so that's why i use get and simply resetting the control okay so on the this you, you will get the response okay on which format you will get response in the untyped object okay see power apps in 2023 also support the untyped objects okay so you can be go for microsoft learn also okay how to handle untyped type objects in power apps okay so you can go and uh, go through this document okay working with untype and dynamic power apps okay so here you will get all the information how you have to work okay in this case I already gone okay so you can follow the steps as well okay um let's i showcase you how uh, response you will get it, okay so in the global variables okay let's i click on the global variables yes i click on that so in this format you are getting the data this is our untyped object okay or data context your site okay value 
this all the information that we first hit that API in that format you will receive. Okay. After that, you can be take the gallery. Okay. In the gallery, you can use your variable name dot value here. V is in small letters. Okay. Because if you see, the data is coming in the value. Okay. Let's I go to the Microsoft Graph Explorer. Okay. So here you can be see value this value. Okay. It is in small. Okay. So we are fetching this one. Okay. So that's why I use here V small. Okay. It's like clear. Okay. So that's why you have to use V small in that case. Okay. Um, so after that, this is untapped object. So we have to convert that into table. Okay. By using this table function, you are converting this untapped object into a table. Okay. So here you can be see value untapped object. So in the table, we are getting this value. Okay. So how to access it out the labels? Okay. So you have to use this item dot capital V value, okay, and the name, which your parameter is available, okay. So let's I go to Microsoft Graph Explorer, okay. So this columns, okay. If you want description, use the description here, okay. ID, ID name. In this case, I want name, so I use in this name, okay. So in this case, you want to fetch that, okay. After that, uh, let's we go for the second one, okay. How to get the list? Okay. So let's I go to the Graph Explorer, and here we have the SharePoint list tag. Okay. So from SharePoint list, we want the item. So we use this uh, fourth action. Okay. The list items in the list. Okay? So here it already provided. Graph API. We want site, root, okay, list, and the items. Okay. Here we need to provide the list. ID, okay. If you want items in that, okay. And if you want the root, okay. So you need to give your site ID here, okay, and the list. So in this case, uh, we are already have all the things, okay. So let's I go and copy this URL from here, okay. HTTP graph Microsoft sites visit TP means this ID, okay. We are copying this ID, huh? Completely that we are getting. Passing here, okay, and uh, slash list, okay. Here is slash is not present. Let's I go first. Right here, okay. We miss the slash. So this should be here, not here. Now it's fine. Let's go and now copy this. And that's it. List. Let's copy. Using control A, control V, and run the queue. So you can be see we are getting the response 200 okay in this case there are also value small okay and these parameters okay this is list id okay it is required us to fetch the items so let's simply copy this okay giving the slash passing the list id okay and then pass we want the items so let's simply call the items okay we need to we need items so let's simply type the items here just click on it run the queue so we are getting the, all the items okay from our shell you can be see your id is one okay at the top let's go it channel okay for that uh, list okay we have only this much of records okay so that's why we are getting the response in this case, okay so for items okay to expand fields and other things you can write the query in this way, like HTTP graph. Okay, this is a site ID. Okay, up to this and list, and this is a list ID. Okay, that we are taken from our here. Okay, now item. How many items you want? Okay, top count. You can be passed five uh, with the SharePoint. Okay, SharePoint has the pagination of five thousand. So in the first hit, you will use only five thousand of records. Okay, and if you want to expand the fields, okay, you can use expand query parameter. Okay, and fields. Okay. If you want to use some search operation or other thing, you can use ampersand and search. Let's use this. Okay, and let's see the response what we are getting. Let's like copy, use, run the query. So here you can see ID is one, okay. And let's scroll it to the bottom. ID is five thousand. If you use and click on the all data next link, okay. In that case, you will issue next five thousand items. So now we were five, okay. And this five now our record is of ten thousand of records we have now. Okay? You can see ID is ten thousand, okay. If I click on this one more time, okay. So our item becomes now five thousand plus five thousand plus five thousand. Okay? One, one, and two. So this one will be okay? only in the three API calls. Uh, that's all, friends. Okay. In this video, if you have any question, any doubt, you can reach out to me. Okay. You can ask your questions in the comment. Okay. And if you like this video, always comment. Okay. Share your feedbacks.